Avenue Vance Empire have just released a brand new free alpha for Ion Apex Racing. And whilst it is still pretty similar to its demo counterpart, there is still a lot different and a lot to talk about. First off, the menu. And it's so much better. Finally, we don't have that odd gulag type of setting where the cars are surrounded by poison or the blood from PUBG. We now have this menu, which more resembles the F1 Life game mode from F1 2022, which is so much more pleasing and refreshing to the eyes. There is also the car list, as in the demo, there were Formula 1 cars, Formula 2 cars, the Micro Cup, GT Pro, Hypercars from World Endurance Championship, and NASCARs. But, in this Alpha, you've got all those cars, except the NASCARs. So, if anything, we're losing cars from this Alpha. And, not only that, but in the demo you could play any car you wanted, and in here, you can only drive the Micro Cup. Well, that is because you have to grind. From grinding away at the game and subsequently wasting your life, you can earn badges which unlock these cars for you. But if you're rich and not a no life, you can also buy the cars with Robux. More Robux than the demo. Oh yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. The tracks are all still the same, and whilst most of them are imported from Ion Formula Racing, the two new tracks, UAE and Britain, are still a lot of fun to drive on, and just like the Ion Formula Racing tracks, which were also revamped, it is incredible fun to drive on them. For the race modes, you get a 5 minute practice session before being put into a race where you can, well, do all your setup stuff. But the hype for the full release of Ion Apex Racing isn't a new thing, in fact, it's bordering 7 months old. After Kashmir Q, co-founder of Avenue Vance Empire, announced that Ion Formula Racing would end, he announced Ion Apex Racing. And with it came a video. A long video. Before we go any further with this video, I want to give a massive shout out to today's sponsor, World of Cups. This is an up and coming Roblox racing game and graphically it is breathtaking. They've already got some iconic tracks like Sakuba in Japan, Melbourne in Australia, Laguna Seca in the United States and Monza in Italy. Whilst this is still a work in progress and no way near completion, this game has already implemented some great features. Stuff like track maps, racing lines and a day and night cycle. There are so far three cars, a Porsche, a Pagani and a Chevrolet. The Pagani is definitely on the more understeery side with its brakes being quite weak, whilst the Chevrolet is more on the oversteery side with its incredible cornering and ability to spin you out. But the only real problem I have with this is that the Porsche is neither. You can just absolutely throw this thing into corners without any consequence bar going wide. That's the only problem I have with this game and it's not even out yet. So, whilst you can't play this game yet, go join the Discord link in description and give them some support. Thank you once again Dilly Studio for sponsoring this video. Back to the show. Skipping past all the boring cinematics and presentation, you can see that Avenue Vance Empire planned new cars, new tracks, and an all new chassis for this game. But the biggest of it all, a contact system. In what Avenue Vance Empire labelled fixing Roblox racing, you can see them testing out their new contact system. Yes, cars touching each other and not going through them. I know, right? This was an incredible step for Roblox Racing and it would make stuff like League Racing way more exciting. And it would make the racing... Racing! The whole presentation of it all was incredible. It was watching an entire genre of games step up. It was incredible, it was confident, and it was what most games in this genre lack. It was bold. And then they announced the demo. And I can't wait to play this game, playing a new era of Roblox Racing. This is so excited. Wait, 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 what the fuck? 3,500 Robux. To put that into perspective, 
That's about 45 euros or 48 dollars and 69 cents. And were people happy about this? Fuck no. Avenue Vance Empire saw this and then they put it down to a measly 1,000 Robux, which is still over 10 euros. The demo eventually released, lots of YouTubers made videos on it, some streamed it, some played it, but then the game was dying out a bit, so they made it lower. 500 Robux. And after some time, I guess Cashmere Q probably thought, well, the game is dead, and we've got updates soon. We might as well release the alpha for free. Oh yeah, and by a little while, I mean the time gap between Ion Apex Racing going down to 500 Robux and becoming free was five months. But it's free now. So anyways, here's my first reaction to the game. Enjoy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ion Apex Racing. I'm actually quite excited. This is the first time in a long while that I'm doing a gameplay. Yes, finally. I have legitimately tried spawning a car in for the last two minutes. Okay, anyways, here's the game. We're in our micro car, in our, in our um, touring car. A control panel, yay! Okay, let's go. This thing feels like a boat. It's going like... What is it? Is this a stadium truck? It's going up and down on each... Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, what's going on? Everyone's off, there's another car. Touring cars do not feel like boats. Th sure, they do float around, but this feels like it's literally skating. Why is each side going up and down every time I'm accelerating? This feels so weird. Are we playing Sea of Thieves? This is not Skull and Bones, and that game was bad in itself quite some stuff you got the track map up there there's the lineup the grid lineup for the race you can vote laps you can race tires set fuel front arrow let's go five lights and it's lights out and away we go and oh, okay I, I forgot to put it into gear and that is that is not great for me everyone everyone's gone off including me i've locked up oh someone's so someone's in the ground there. Well, that is a wonderful start to a game that was meant to be fixed. And oh, lo, 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 oh my goodness me. You know what? We're actually not doing too badly. I mean, we're in seventh. We're actually doing really badly. Ever playing the game. Holy smithereens. Or as Zach's Gaming Lab says, blimey. I'm just going to cut this chicane and hope for the best. Someone's gone off. By the way, is... They said there was a contact system. There is a contact system, okay. You can spin people out, everybody. Terror. Oh, for fops to the developers for that, I guess. But the handling is stupidly awful. I was, like, actually kind of hyped for this. I feel depressed. Oh. What? What? No! What the f <laughs> What's going on? I am deeply confused at the fact that I just lost everything and went into the pits. I've officially finished a race in the pit lane. It's steering for me! It's steering for me! D did you see that? 